This video is an introduction to Tinkercad Circuits, an online circuit simulator that you can use to learn how to build circuits and program an Arduino, even if you don't have a physical Arduino. If you do have a real Arduino, you can still use Tinkercad to prototype your circuits and test out your code before you build the physical circuit. To get started, go to tinkercad.com and create an account. Once you've logged in, click the New button. Note that Tinkercad also includes a 3D design program and a graphical programming environment called CodeBlocks. You will want to select Create New Circuit. This will open a window where you can add components from a library of parts just like you would with a physical circuit. Tinkercad will give your new circuit a silly random name, but it's probably a good idea to give it a name that makes sense so you can keep track of your circuits later. For example, I'm going to call this My First Arduino Circuit. To add a part to the work area, click and drag it from the parts library. You can then click it and drag it to move it around, and use the rotate button to rotate it. You can click a blank area on the canvas and drag to move your view, and use the mouse wheel to scroll in and out. Start out by adding an Arduino and a breadboard next to each other in the circuit. Then we'll talk about how to build a circuit and program the Arduino. Next, we will connect an LED and resistor to the Arduino so we can blink the LED using one of the Arduino's digital pins. To do that, we're going to drag the LED into the workspace and rotate it so we can put it into the breadboard with its two legs in different rows of the breadboard. If you don't know how a breadboard works, you can go back and watch the previous videos in this series, but note that Tinkercad conveniently highlights the holes that are electrically connected to each other when you mouse over one of them. Next, we're going to add a resistor. To do that, again, we're going to drag it into the workspace and put it in the breadboard. So its two legs are in different rows, but one of those legs is in the same row as the LED, so they are connected. Now, with physical resistors, you would need to sort through them and find one with the correct color code. In Tinkercad, you can just type in the value you want. So I'm going to make it 220 ohms, but note that it defaults to kilo ohms. A kilo ohm is 1000 ohms, so you need to use the drop down menu to change the units there. I'm going to change that to 220 ohms as the current limiting resistor for the LED to prevent it from burning out. Next, I'm going to add jumper wires. You can do that by clicking any of the pins on the Arduino or one of the holes on the breadboard. That will start a wire. You can then click again to route the wire if you want to have a bend. And then finally click where you want the wire to end. For example, I'm going to connect the ground pin on the Arduino to the negative lead of the LED. If you want to edit the wire after you have placed it, you can click and drag these circles to move the wire around, and you can change its color using the drop-down menu up at the top. So I'm going to change that to a black wire for my negative or ground connection. I am going to do the same thing to add another jumper wire from Arduino pin 12 over to the other end of my resistor. We are going to use that to turn the LED on and off. Now we are ready to edit the code for the Arduino. We can open the programming window by clicking the code button up here at the top. Note that the first time you do that, it is going to default to a graphical or block based programming language that is similar to Scratch if you're familiar with that. We want to use the text editor so we can write code that would be identical to what we would write in the real Arduino IDE. So you need to select this drop down menu, select text, accept the warning that this will prevent you from reverting to the block editor and then it will start you with a basic Arduino program to blink the onboard LED. From here, you can click Start Simulation, which is the equivalent of hitting the Upload button in the Arduino IDE. This will run the code in the simulation window, and we can see here the onboard LED is blinking on and off. Now, note that you can drag around and zoom your view of the circuit while the simulation is running, but you cannot edit the circuit or the code. For example, I'm hitting the Backspace key here, but you see it is not deleting anything. So if you want to edit the circuit or the code, you need to hit stop simulation, make your changes, and then start the simulation again. For example, I'm going to change this code to blink the external LED instead of the onboard LED. So I'm going to change all of these to a 12 since I am using Arduino pin 12. And then if I start the simulation again, we should see the external LED blink. So this is just one example of how you can use Tinkercad to run real Arduino code that will also run on a physical Arduino. Many of the videos in this series will use Tinkercad to demonstrate building the circuit because it gives a nice, clean, top-down view of the breadboard and makes it easy to show the code side-by-side -side at the same time. But 
you can follow along either with Tinkercad or with a physical Arduino. For more Arduino tutorials and lots of cool projects you can do with an Arduino, check out the links in the video description. For thousands of other fun, hands-on science and engineering projects, visit us online at www.sciencebuddies.org.